Today I am talking about some of my favorite vanillas from my collection. Vanilla is one of my favorite notes in fragrances, so I really wanted to just share with you some of the fragrances in my collection that feature the note. I'm going to start with the most basic vanilla that I own, and that is Vini from Haute Romer. This is a limited edition bottle, but um, the normal one that it comes in just says Vini right across the front. I'm pretty sure you can get it at Urban Outfitters. I bought mine online, um, and it literally smells like vanilla extract. It is sweet and vanilla, like that's all there is to it. Um, this fragrance doesn't really last all that long. It is probably more like a body spray than a perfume. Um, but <laughs> I really love layering this over other perfumes. Um, really any perfume, any perfume that I really want to sort of amp up the vanilla or if I want to ground it with vanilla. For instance, I really love spraying this over my more green fragrances. I find that the vanilla really grounds it pretty well. Um, and since I have such a giant bottle, I'm fairly liberal with spraying this on. Um, this by itself gets a ton of compliments. This is like, I don't know, I don't get it. It's To me, it's like a very boring basic perfume. It's really easy to grab when I don't know what I want to wear. But every single time I wear it, somebody comes up to me and goes, oh, you smell really good. So. <laughs> this one is a classic for a very good reason. This is Chalmar. I have the Eau de Toilette concentration here, and vanilla is really the star of this. There are so many other things going on in this fragrance. It is extremely complex. It starts out as one thing and ends as a completely different animal. It is amazing. Um, I love this whole line of fragrances. I have so many flankers. Vanilla really is the star of all of them. Um, I couldn't really pick which one was my favorite, so I just sort of landed on the original. Um, it's very strong. It lasts a very long time. It works year-round. I personally prefer it in colder weather, um, but vanilla, wow, it is so well done in this fragrance. It is amazing. This is one that I absolutely do not layer because it doesn't need it. <laughs> it is just magnificent on its own. Um, the um, Pillar Fragrance Shalimar can take some getting used to. Um, in, I was not a fan of this when I first smelled it. I didn't think I liked it at all, but it really grew on me to the point where now I own like five flankers and... I hope to own more in my life. It's just that amazing. Um, yeah, so this has got to be one that you at least try if you're a fan of vanilla. This is Cartier by Zervole Essence de Parfum, and this is discontinued but still available online. I will make sure to have links in the description box for you. Uh, this is a really nice, refreshing lily. The whole lily petals, stem, everything with a really big hit of sweet, soft vanilla. And earlier I said I like to layer my vanille over green fragrances, and this is exactly why I do that. This fragrance, um, the Pillar Fragrance by Zervole, is so green and crisp, and as much as I like it, I highly, highly, highly prefer the vanilla version. This vanilla just softens everything and it makes it so edible and so luscious like it truly smells like something you could sink your teeth into it is so delicious and it is so light the vanilla in here or i should say this fragrance isn't heavy and overwhelming it is very soft and pillowy and airy and it's just really really spectacular looking at these fragrances that i have here I get compliments on all of them, and I think vanilla is really the reason why. This one is no exception, Mont Guerlain from Guerlain. I was chased down in a grocery store because I smelled so good while I was wearing this, and I totally get it. This fragrance opens up with a big hit of lavender and quickly mellows out to a really sweet floral vanilla. This fragrance is so unique. 
I have only ever smelled one other fragrance that smelled like this and it was from Guerlain <laughs> and it is what this fragrance is based off of. It is so, so good. It sort of toes the line of Gourmand. It's not quite fully there. It's like dipping a toe in. Um, it's really great. It works in all weather and it just smells really feminine and very appealing. This fragrance, Roberto Cavalli Essenza, is only three notes, vanilla, almond, and orange blossom. And even though it's only three notes, it smells so much more than that, but all of the notes are very easily identified. The orange blossom is very grapey, the almond is very almondy, and the vanilla is very vanilla. It smells so good. It is really really ladylike and very appropriate for all occasions and all weather it smells extremely sweet without being cloying and this is one that when i smelled it i didn't really think it was um like sexy or anything like that but my husband goes absolutely bonkers for this one this is the only one that i consistently get him telling me that i smell so sexy so if you're looking for like sexy that isn't like in your face sexy i think this one is perfect for that um it just is really like warm and delicious i've talked about dior addict before but i can't stop talking about it because it is so good this is another vanilla orange blossom fragrance also very sexy but this one is very much in your face this is the newer reformulation my bottle is from 2017 and I get so much heady vanilla. It is so intoxicating and so sexy. This one is very potent. Like one or two sprays will get you noticed. More will probably get you kicked out of wherever you are. Um, it smells so good. It is very, very sexy. Lots of compliments. And it lasts a long time, which I don't think vanilla is a note that really lasts a long time on its own. I think it needs more to it. And Dior Addict is, it has a lot more to it. And so it lasts a really long time and it projects really, really well. This is probably one of my favorite date night perfumes because of that. It's very easy to smell from far away. So you can sort of intoxicate your date from across the table. I've talked about this fragrance before. This is Alien Essence Absolue from Mugler. I love this one. This one to me smells like root beer. And I, this one's really sort of a contradiction. It's very like fizzy, uh, like root beer, but it's also very syrupy. The vanilla in here is very ambery. There's also some jasmine, which I don't really pick up all that much until I spray it on. Um, but it is so great, so great for date nights. And in colder weather, this really opens up and becomes very cozy and comforting. I think this works best in cold weather, but it definitely works in warmer weather as well. This one lasts quite a long time. This is one that I can spray on a sweater and still smell it when it's time to wash it, um, which can be nice if you plan on wearing the same perfumes over and over again. And this is another one that I like to layer with my vanille because I feel like that really amps up the vanilla beyond that sort of root beer smell um, and makes it a little more food smelling versus drink smelling. I would love for you to tell me in the comments what your favorite vanilla fragrances are and if you have any recommendations for me. I hope you enjoyed the fragrances that I shared with you today. Thank you so much for watching.